Welcome back to the Every Chess YouTube channel. In today's class, we are going to learn how to make this beautiful gather skirt with scallop design. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you would like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So we are going to start by drafting the upper part of the skirt. Okay. I'm, you can do this directly on your fabric, but I'm going to be doing this on the paper. And then I'm going to transfer it so that you can see it clearly. So I'm going to mark the, I'm going to start by removing the band that I'm going to be placing on the skirt. So it's going to have like a two inches band. So you can see that I started my measurement from the two inches area. So there I'm going to mark my hip line, which is this. Then after marking my hip length, I'm going to mark the full skirt length. That's where you want the upper part of the skirt to be. So between, I can add maybe four to five inches to my hip measurement. So if I'm adding five inches, that's 15 inches. You can even add up to six inches if you want. But let me just leave it at around four and um, five and a half. So I'm just trying to get a straight line here. So here is my hip line and this is going to be the full length of the skirt. So here this is my center fold. I'm going to add my zipper allowance for the back. So let me just extend it like that. So I'm going to start taking the measurements from this side. So the waist I'm working with is 34 inches where by 4 is 8.5 so here I'm going to mark 8.5 I'm not adding that to this so if I add it that you had your that allowance and then I'm going to add my seam allowance to that so after that I'm going to move to the hip the hip I'm working with is 44 44 divided by 4 is 11 so here I'm going to mark 11 and then add my allowance to that as well so here on the M line you can just mark the 11 so although we are still going to shape it so it doesn't really matter so here i'm going to connect from my waist to my hip and then from the hip i'm just going to connect somehow and then stop it where the full skirt length is going to stop so here like i said I'm going to add my zipper allowance to the actual measurement. So here, I'm going to add a zipper lap of 1.5 inches here. I'm going to add one here and one here. Just to give an illusion of a bomb allocation there. So I'm going to connect from there to this point and then from here as well, I'm going to connect to the hem. Make sure that you don't have anything sharp over there so you can cut this you can cut the hem shorter so that you can have a shorter space to work with okay. so now this is what we have the next thing is to create the design that is at the hem of the half length you can see that it's just like a scallop design okay so now the next thing now is to create it so to do that depending on the shape that you want from my waistline remember i have removed my two inches on the center front i'm going to mark around seven to eight inches so i can leave it at seven and a half inches for my center front that is the depth i want for the center front so for the hem from the center front again, I'm going to mark around six inches, five to six inches for that. Okay. So this is totally up to you and what you want. These are the designs that I want for mine. So the next thing is to join from here to here for the center. And then from the hem, you're going to join that to your hip for the side. So you can use a free hand for this or you use your curve. So I'm using a curve. I'm just connecting like this. And then from here, I'm going to take my curve again and then connect to the side. So I'm connecting this into the same allowance. You can also stop it here if you want to. I want it a little bit free. So this is the shape that I have now. 
and this is what my center front is going to look like so the next thing i'm doing now i'm cutting the front and back together because it's going to have the same shape that's why i have not separated them so now you can see i have cut into my seam allowance my zipper allowance and then from there i'll start cutting out this shape that i want for the skirt so this is the center and then from here it's going to be this side so you can see that we have actually chopped off all of this that's why it is not necessary for you to mark the round hem because it's not going to stay so now after cutting that i'm going to cut out my hip which is going to separate the front and back okay so now this is my front you are going to cut this part on fold because that's the center front and this is the back we are going to cut two of this and this is the center back so now i'll go ahead and cut this on my fabric okay so i've cut it out on my pattern you can see the front is on fold just like i said because the front does not have joining it has to be a single piece so now i'm detaching the paper from the main fabric and this is what it looks like on the front this is what the front looks like and then for the back we have two pieces because there's going to be a zipper passing through the back so these are the two back pieces that we have and i'm just going to place them on each other like this okay so you can see this by center so you make sure that the center is where you have facing each other so this is the front and this is the back so i'll go ahead and join the side with my seam allowance then after joining the side i'm going to cut out my band i've already cut my band if you have um interface face or hair stay or gum stay you can add to it i don't have that right now so i just cut out a band of 36 inches because that's my waistline with zip with um zipper allowance and then i just the the length of this is five inches remember i said i would need two inches for my band so by the time you put it on fold you have two and half and then i can fold half an inch on both sides as my seam allowance so after sewing my my skirt together i'll go ahead and fix the band to it so that we can work on the lower part so the side seam is joined now as you can see this is the first side this is the front and this is the second back after joining them together i went ahead to sew in my band so this is what we have and this is where you're putting your zipper so you can just go ahead and search this part just make sure it is neat so this is what we have the next thing now is to measure what we have on the hem so that we can cut out the gathers so here you will just start measuring from here you measure and then from there you turn a little bit and measure the side that's one back so now we are going to the front you measure again and then you measure so you can stop it at the center front here so i stopped here at 25 so you can stop it at the center front here which is about 34 and a half so what you have there you just multiply it by two or you can just measure everything around but here i have 34 and a half for one side so if i multiply that by two i will have about 78 or 79 inches there about so now if you have 79 inches depending on how full you want it to be you can multiply this by two two and a half or three and then gather so that's going to be your waist so now let me assume seven uh, um, two yards is 76 inches so i'm just going to assume this to be two yards the measurement i took to be two yards so if i'm multiplying by two it means i'm going to work with four yards so the width is going to be four yards for me and then for the length okay depending on how long you want your total skirt length to be so for me i think around 34 inches around um 40 around 40 inches is okay for me so i'm going to be using the longest part to be my reference point here remember this longest part was 14 inches okay so now if you want your full length to be if you want your full length to be 40 inches all you just need to do is to deduct 
this 14 inches from 40 and that's going to give us i think around 26 inches so that's going to be the length of your of your skirt so now you're going to need a fabric of four yards on the width side and then 24 inches on the length side this measurement is totally up to you and what you want so i've already gone ahead to cut mine and this is it so this is four yards i just divided my two yards into two so that i can so the two yards that i have this fabric is by 60 as you can see so the two yards that i have i just divided it into two okay so i'll have two two yards like that you can see where i cut it so i'm going to be joining it by the side to make up four yards for me and you can see this is about 29 inches and i need 26 so i'm just going to use half an inch to hem to sew it on the upper part and then i'm going to hem it i don't mind if it's very long as well on this side so i'm just going to leave it as it is so what i'm going to do now because i've divided it into two and i want them to be together i'll first join it so that i will have one piece of four yard then after that i'm going to go ahead and gather this round the hem of this skirt okay so you're going to gather it following this shape that you created so i'm going to do this now and bring it back to show us to sew it and you just follow the shape that you have there so it's going to lift the hem at the center and the side a little bit because of the way it is shaped but if you want it even more, all you just need to do is to fold it just like you do it in, into four and then you can reshape the hem. But I'm okay with the hem that I have like this. So this is what it looks like. So the last thing to do now is to close up the center back and then you fix your zipper. So I'll close my center back to somewhere around here and then I'm going to fix zipper to the rest. So I'll do that now and take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the mannequin. You can see how beautiful it is and how simple it is to make. I hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Kindly follow us on all our social media at Library on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, on all social media platforms. And you can shop any of our designs on LibraryTress.com. Thank you.